Today I want to direct your attention to a brief passage in the 63rd chapter of Isaiah. It's Isaiah 63 verses 7 through 9 and especially verse 7. And again this is geared towards here we are at the beginning of a new year and what's a helpful thing to do as a habit, as a practice. Verse 7 says, I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praiseworthy acts of the Lord, because of all the Lord has done for us, and the great favor to the house of Israel that he has shown to them according to his mercy, according to the abundance of his steadfast love. What Isaiah is talking about here is, I believe, a very important and helpful spiritual practice that's good for us spiritually, emotionally especially, uh, and also mentally and physically. And that is to regularly recount the gracious deeds of the Lord. Uh, some of us know an old hymn called Count Your Blessings, right, that has this repeated refrain, Count your blessings, name them one by one, and you will be surprised by what the Lord has done. Well, that's actually a really good spiritual discipline, a spiritual habit, to recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praiseworthy acts of the Lord. And I really encourage you in 2023 to consider at the end of every single day, whether you keep a journal, which is a great practice, whether you say them out loud, but before you go to bed, to be able to share what are three gracious deeds of the Lord, three praiseworthy acts of the Lord that you can give thanks for at the end of the day. I know some of our families even do this around the dinner table, around the meal table. What are things that were, what's something you're thankful for today? But you know, one of the things that's dangerous spiritually is forgetting. It's forgetting the deeds of the Lord. And if you look back in the book of Deuteronomy, that's one of the things the Lord warns God's people against, that when life gets going well and you're prosperous and you have enough to eat and you're feeling safe and stable, uh, that's the time uh, when people often stop recounting the gracious deeds and praiseworthy acts of the Lord. Uh, it's a dangerous spiritual practice to forget what God has done because the next step is forgetting the Lord completely and walking away from faith, walking away from obedience, from a daily journey with God in our life. And that's at the heart of Jesus' Last Supper is the opposite of forgetting. It's remember, right? When you do this, when you gather, when you break bread together, remember me. So I commend to you this year regularly and daily recounting the gracious deeds and the praiseworthy acts of the Lord and remembering as Isaiah says his mercy and his steadfast love toward you.